Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel and today we're gonna I'm going to be showing you how to make this little mug cover and with our little Halloween character here. It's the same basic mug cover that we did for our snowman, only we have a different face. There's two options for the eyes. You can either embroider, I crochet them and then sew them on like I've done here. Or you could add buttons. If you have big buttons, you could put those on. It's totally up to you. And then we're just going to embroider his mouth. And it doesn't have to be straight because he's, remember, he's kind of patched up there. So I hope you'll enjoy this, but this tutorial. Please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And let's get the party started. Okay, everyone, to begin, I'm going to be using the white yarn and some black yarn. This is just the Super Saver medium weight acrylic yarn. And you will be using a size H hook, which is a size 8 or 5.0 millimeters. This hook was given to me by Rachel Dumps of Moon Shadow Threads. I'll put her link for her Facebook page here. And you could either, it's, this is optional, you can use buttons or you can crochet the eyes. I'm going to show you how to do both ways so that you can, if you don't have any buttons available, that won't stop you from completing your project. You can just go ahead and crochet your little circle, okay? And you might prefer it with the eyes. Okay, the way we do this um, mug cover is the same way that we, we did the basic shape for the snowman mug cover. So here you're going to begin with your loop. And here we go. And now to begin, I want you to chain 14. Okay, this time we will do the 14. Okay, guys. So to uh, do your chain, remember you just yarn over, meaning you wrap your hook over your yarn and you pull through. That's going to be your first chain. Then you're going to do 14. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 and 14 okay once you do your 14 chains we're going to do single crochets for um, every chain so beginning on the second chain here from the hook here's one and two the first row we're going to do uh, single crochets through the entire chain okay so I want you to go ahead and do one single crochet in every chain until we get to the back to the end when we get to the end then I'm going to show you how we turn over and beginning from rows 2 to row 34, I know it sounds like a lot, but it goes by fast because it's a small little piece. You're going to be crocheting in the back loop only. So go ahead and do your single crochets in each one of your okay, chains. Okay, here I'm coming to the, my last single crochet, my last chain. So now to move up, we're going to chain one. So go ahead and yarn over, pull it up. Now you're going to turn your work over. And now from now on, we're only going to be working in the back loops. So I want you to see, hopefully you could see how the chain is, that there is a front loop and a back loop. From now on, we're going to be working only in the back loop, okay? And that you don't chain in this one, you do in the second one, because it's, this is just a chain one going up. So here, beginning on this chain, you're going to start doing your single crochets in the back uh, loop of the chain only. And this is what will give you that little ridged effect, okay? So here's my next chain. Let me see if you could see it there. And I'm going in the back loop only. And I'm going to continue doing that all the way across. When you get to the end of our row, you're going to chain one, turn it around, and continue doing the very same thing, guys. So here, I hope you can see clearly that I'm going only into the back loops. So I want you to go ahead and do this until you have 34 rows, okay? And then we will come back and show you how to do the face in the little um, button um, holder, okay? So go ahead and do your 34 rows and we'll come back and then I will show you how to do the rest of your little mug cover. Okay, I'm coming to my last single crochet and I've done my 34 rows and you can see how it's like that little uh, rib. And this does stretch, so we will stretch to cover your mug cover. When you come here to the end, I want you to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Once you do that, you're going to go back into single slip stitch, back into the same stitch, into your same chain there. And I'm going to pull it through. If I've already cut the yarn, so here I'm just going to fasten off and this is going to be the button, the buttonhole 
for our buttons to fasten it off. So you're just gonna do that. I'm gonna sew in these tails. Sometimes it's better to cut it longer because then it's easier to sew in. So once we do that, we're ready to begin on the face of our mug cover. Um, when you put your button on here, you could either do a black button, a white button, or clear button. Whatever you have available, that's up to you. To do the face, if you have some buttons like this, you can do the buttons for your eyes if you would like. But since we don't have... Okay, um, to do your eyes, you could either put buttons here for the eyes or you can um, do your own crochet eyes. So sometimes you don't have buttons, so you don't want that to stop you from doing your project. So what we're going to do here, you do use what we call a magic or disappearing circle. You're going to get the, the uh, end of the yarn is going to be in your left hand. You're going to make a loop like this, but you're not going to close it through yet. I'm going to bring this through the back. And I'm just going to pull this out here. Once I pull that there, I'm going to go ahead and do a chain stitch there. And it's kind of holding it. Don't close it shut yet. Now I'm going to chain one. Okay. And now I'm going to do 10, between 10 to 12 single crochets in here. So you're just going to stick it in there. I'm sorry, not single crochets. I'm sorry, guys. A half double crochet. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook. Put this in here. There will be three loops of yarn on my hook. I'm going to pull through all three. So that's my first one, two, and if your loop starts getting too big and it's hard for you to handle, you can go ahead and close it a little bit. Just don't shut it all the way, okay? So here's three, Oops. four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, let me pull this a little bit. It's getting a little too loose for me there. And ten. So that's my last loop there. So once I do ten, now you can go ahead and pull the tail here and that closes off the, the uh, middle and it leaves no hole, okay? So now once you do that, you're going to go into your first chain here and we're going to slip stitch that. Pull it out. I'm going to leave a tail here so that I can sew my ends and then I'm going to do that one more time so I have two eyes. So you just want to leave a tail because I'm going to use that to sew my eye shut. I'm going to pull this through here. That's my first eye. I'm going to go ahead and see how you can put this as an eye. It's a little bit bigger than the buttons, but it still comes out pretty good. So go ahead and do your second eye. If you want to make it smaller, then just use a single crochet. That's up to you. Okay, I finished both of my eyes here. And so I trimmed the back of this, the center one here, leaving the tail open. Now I'm going to trim this one that was the middle um, part. So let me get my small scissors here. And that's just going to tuck behind our eye. Now you're going to have to get your yarn needles. I use these little medicine containers because you can shut it and it doesn't get lost. And, and um, I just hate, I love to recycle. I don't like throwing things away that can be reused. And I hate filling up the landfills. So here you're going to get your yarn and you're going to thread it to your, through your yarn needle. So let me do that here behind the scenes here. Uh oh, I just dropped the eyeball. <laughs> I guess it's the eye, it's not really an eyeball. So here, I have thread, I put my thread here. I want to make sure that this part with the other little tail is going to go down to the bottom. And you're going to just try to find a place kind of here, maybe there, to place your eye. Okay, so the first one would be here. Remember your cup. You it's going to have the face on one side. You can hold the cup whichever way. Some people hold it on the right hand, some on the left. So that's just really up to you. So here I'm going to put my um, eyes. I'm going to stretch it a little bit because I don't want it to, when it goes on the mug, it is going to stretch. So here you just place your eyes there. I'm just going to go through the top and sew them on. If you like um, to use a whip stitch, you can. I'm just trying to do it through the top of the um, through the top of the um, black portion because I don't want the black thread to show on the white face, okay, on Jack's face. So here, 
We'll do it this way. And in the same way, now that I have it here around, once I sew that on, it's pretty easy, see? I'm going to go to the back, and it looks pretty neat. I'm going to grab my yarn through here. I don't want it to show on the other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my knot, and then trim that knot off, okay? This is on the back part of the mug, so it should be okay. And if you want to keep it um, from fraying, like if you want to keep it from fraying, sometimes I put a little bit of fray check. Oops, I don't know why I did that. I was going to bury the tail. You can put a little bit of fray check here. And it seems to work pretty good to keep it from coming out. And when I wash them, they seem to work good. Or else there's also some stuff called fabric glue. I have that also here. Um, uh, let me show you what it looks like. So you could use whichever one you want. This one's like $4.99 at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember how much this was, but either one works good to keep your ends from coming out. So now go ahead and put your second eye. I will go ahead and put on my second eye and we'll come back and finish his nose and his mouth. Okay, I have both of my eyes sewn on here so you could see that. So now I'm gonna get a long piece of yarn, maybe about 12 inches or maybe a little longer. Um, sometimes if you do it too long, it gets tangled, so. Now I'm going to do the nose and I'm not going to um, tie a knot on the back because I want to tie the knot when I go through the back here. So the nose that I'm going to do is just like that one that kind of um, Jack kind of has. So I'm just going to go through one of here, one of these things. I'm not going to pull it all the way through because I don't want it to come out so it just leaves a tail there. And I'm just going to do his nose maybe to here. Okay. And then I'm going to put his other, oops, sorry, that came out too straight. Let me try that again. I mean, too angled. His nose is not that angled. So go there. I didn't, you notice how I didn't pull it all the way through because I don't want that piece of yarn to come out. So now here I'm going to do the other side and it just kind of next to the same little nose there. So that is going to be his nose. Now this side I'm going to tie up and then I can cut that just for his nose. And like I said, you can put your um, your fray check there. Now here I'm going to be doing his mouth. And basically I'm just going to be probably from like mid-eye here, going around like this and then up to the mid-eye here because that's about how his mouth is pretty big if you see him. So you can use the ridges as a guide. Um, it's up to you, but I think that the ridges is easier to use it. And all you're going to be doing here, there it is. I'm going to crochet, do my first stitch there. And then I'm just going to come back over here. And you're just going to have to shape the mouth like a smile or whichever way you want to shape it. If you want to, don't want him to look like he's smiling, it's up to you. But remember, we're going to go all the way down here. So just shape your mouth. And then I'm coming back here. So go ahead and do your whole mouth like this. I'm going to go all the way around and do his mouth. See how it's just kind of shaping. And it's all up to you how big you want to make the mouth. If you just want to make his mouth smaller, that's totally up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and finish his mouth and then we'll come back and finish the finishing touches for his mouth. Okay, I'm finishing his mouth and then the back here I'm going to tie this one to here, just to fasten it off. So you're just gonna tie your little knots, okay? I'll show you how we do that. So now, this is what his mouth looks like. Okay, he's starting to look more like um, our little face here. And now we're gonna get another big piece of string and we're gonna do his little the stitches on his mouth. So here, now we're just gonna come across and do his little stitches here. When I come across on this side, maybe to here, I'm gonna have that stitch there. 
I can sew my ends here so he's not gonna fall apart his mouth okay and I love I love to use the fray check it keeps his mouth his um, my projects from coming apart so here I'm gonna go another one I'm gonna come to the other and you're just gonna put as many as you think looks good I'm just putting his mouth here because I want to stitches to look good on his mouth let me put it back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing you can see what it's just coming out his little face um, I don't know why I like this character um, I'm making this for one of my friends grandsons he likes this little character so Now he's just shaping his face, his mouth. So this is pretty easy embroidery. It's not really, I'm just, see how I'm just, now in the back, I just move to my next section here, go down. And once you're in the back here, here, then in the back, I just go to my next place here until I finish all of his mouth. See that? I think that's looking kind of cute there I think that will be our last stitch there so now here's the other end I had remember so now I can tie this to my end don't do it really tight because you don't want it to be really tight now I'm gonna cut this off I still have yarn on here so now on this part here because it's gonna turn around Right, we're gonna sew our button. So I'm gonna put my button there. And usually I only like to do like one or two turns. This one has four holes on the button, so I'm just gonna pull it through. I'm gonna make sure I leave enough yarn there so that I could tie it off. Gonna go there. Now I'm going to the next space here. to my other button and now I'm going to tie it off there okay so now I have my button here but now I just need to make sure that I have you could either do another button hole on the bottom part or I'm just going to pull my yarn through here that tail I have here, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to pull it out there and then I'm going to oh, let me see if I can pull this out here go I'm just going to tie it there just fasten it off and then this portion I'm going to um, put to the bottom and if you want, you can actually just stitch this, um, whichever way it's easier for you. We're just trying to attach just one little, one or two strands on the bottom to keep our um, mug cozy in place. And if you want to just do a seam up there, that's up to you. It's hard for me to see the needle, the holes of the needle, I guess because I'm getting older and my eyesight's not as good. If you want to just tie it up like this, you can do that too. So just going there. Make a couple stitches, hold it in there, and now you can tie your knot on the bottom. So now you've closed the bottom there. I'm going to make the knot and to keep it from coming out, guys. And if you want, you could do another buttonhole. I don't think that's necessary. So I'm going to sew in my tails. Once I sew this tail in, my other tail, I button it there, right? And it's done. Let me get my mug here. Stick your mug in there. Pull it up. Just button my button. As soon as you sew in your tails, your little mug cozy is done. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And um, these would be great to cover your mugs for hot chocolate and Halloween. So have a great day. Uh, please click the like button. Help me grow my channel by sharing my videos with other people. And don't forget that God loves you.